Hi there, we're going to be taking a look at the Dell D620, Dell Latitude. Uh, this laptop has had a problem for a while and it grew worse. It was, when it was running out of power, I'd plug the power adapter in, it would shut down. And then it, I couldn't turn it back on as long as the power cable was in, but the battery was dying. And then we realised that if we left it on for a couple of minutes, the battery would start to charge. So we can run it off a of battery power, but as soon as we stick the power adapter in, it shuts down. Now after a while it stopped coming on altogether. So now as you see, if we push the power button, just the power light will come on. And a few seconds later, boom, it just blinks out. It's totally gone. So if you're experiencing the problem where your battery seems to be charging up full and yet every time you press the power button you're just getting one light. Now I tried everything, lots of different fixes, taking out the ROM cards, the memory cards, the battery, unplugging everything, holding the power down, putting everything back on again, all the usual stuff. But... I did realise that as it stopped happening before, it was like longer, like if I left the laptop for a day, it struggled to start, but if I left it for two or three days, it just wouldn't want to start at all. Well, I've realised that if I just keep pressing down on the power key, it's like eventually something gets jump-started in the computer. And I've seen me doing this 60, 70 times. Just keep pressing the power button. The power button just blinks up on its own. There's no processor lighting up. Nothing at all. So you just keep pressing. But yeah, I've been through everything online. Some people are saying it was a driver issue. It might have caused it because it was left for about a month. And then it just would not turn back on. We've purchased a new battery, put the new battery in. We eventually, after doing this all day, got it started up, put the power supply back in, and it just cut out again. So we realise now we can charge the battery, let the battery run its course in the machine, and sometimes when it's down near about to cut off, if you plug the power adapter in, sometimes it's okay and it lets it charge up, but when it gets near to full, it cuts off again. But yeah, this is all we're doing, just keep keep on pressing the power button. Sometimes I was like, just t touching the power button to put it on, other times I'm holding down, just for a second or two before letting go, and it will come on. It's like it's being jump started, it's like something that's, it's energy is being used. So while it's being stored, it's draining away. But as you sit doing this, that eventually it builds up enough power, I don't know. What could possibly be wrong with it? But I have noticed that when I was searching for my fault, lots of people were experiencing the same issue. And nobody really had a cure for it because... Hundreds of people were throwing random things in the air, and I was trying them all. Getting the same outcome every time. I did realise that, like when it starts up as well, you realise that it'll boot, cut off. Next time we do it, it'll boot right up, get to the desktop, cut off. And then when we boot it up after that, it'll stay on. So every time it gets a little stage further, but if you've got really important stuff on your laptop that you want to try and get off, this is a good attempt to try because otherwise you're going to be paying a mega bill in the shop. We were seeing about having this looked at and people were saying like for £75 an hour, even if we were to go through the power supply, it's going to be costing you upwards of three, four £400 just to have that looked at. And yeah... I ain't doing that on a 2006 laptop. But I'm telling you, this laptop was solid. Good laptop, this. So if you've got one in working condition, kudos to you. Great little laptop.
Yeah, this might take a while. I don't want to be pausing it and and then starting back up again saying, oh, look, like magic mind just came on. So I'm just showing you as it is, how it's done. So however long this is going to take. You might want to think about fast forwarding the video until you see a bit of change and then just backing up a little bit but or if you're going through it like I am and actually testing yours and pressing the button as many times as I am and sticking at it remember if possible make sure your battery was fully charged or at least has charge in it I was trying lots of things. I was at the side here pulling out the drives, trying to press it on. Just never really noticed any difference. Never come out. What I did notice a similarity with was sometimes I'd plug the power connector in, try and turn it on, it wouldn't come on. I'd pull it out, try and turn it on, and sometimes it would come on straight away. So, I think it might be something to do with the power somewhere. But yeah, it wasn't used in a while. It's not had any, it's not running A10, it's running like A2 BIOS. I don't know if it'd make a difference. It's on Windows 7. That's another thing, it seemed to be everybody on Windows 7 that was experiencing the fault. Eventually a second light will appear here. It's usually round about now it starts to kick on. Yeah, you should definitely try this. I was shocked, like the first time I tried it, I just kept doing it and doing it thinking if something needs powered up, surely if I try and keep power going, uh, eventually it's going to kick start and it did, man, it lit up. I was like, yes, and then I could get to the desktop, and after about three or four attempts of getting it started up on the desktop, I was rolling all over again. I was able to get all the information off the machine that I needed. That was the most important. But I realize now that this machine's probably totally kaput. I don't know enough about them to even attempt to try and fix it. I can open it up and unplug things and put them back on if I've got a bit of direction, but I don't have a clue about laptops. This definitely works. I'm usually lying down with it sitting on my stomach and just sitting with my finger on the button waiting for the light to go out and just press it, but yeah, this way is slightly more hard work. But yeah, it'll oh, come on. Yeah, we bought another power pack for it. We bought another battery for it. I actually took, I split the battery pack that came out of this that we thought was faulty. Split it apart and every single battery read the same. So they were all in good condition. So I kind of knew after I smashed the first battery pack that the batteries weren't the issue. The second battery pack went in, it wouldn't start up, pulled the power lead out, it hit the power button, bang, started up straight away. So we thought it was the power adapter and bought a new power adapter. Exact same problem. And that was it, that was the end of spending on this machine.
Yeah, it's trying to play hardball today. It's definitely around about now it would usually start. It has just been fully charged and when it's fully charged it seems to have the issue. And when it's got next to no charge it sometimes accepts the power supply. And I've checked the battery management, checked all that, it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, there's no power adapter connected at the moment. It's just purely running off battery, showing you exactly what's going on. Still just the one power light. When I press this, the power light comes on and the other light flashes. The Wi-Fi light gives a quick bleep. Sometimes when I do it, there only is the power light. And the sign for me that's going to come on is the quick bleep coming from like the Wi-Fi. So to me, it's definitely going to activate any time now. Yeah, just keep going. I don't even know if this would maybe work for other laptops. You could give it a try. I suppose if you've experienced the same thing, like the black screen, you would expect it to be the screen that's not working because it's not even attempting to light up. It just stays jet black. And then when it comes on, everything cuts off except the power light stays on. Everything just instantly blacks out. So yeah, if you're experiencing a similar thing on maybe a similar laptop or if you're at your wit's end with whatever laptop you got, you could give it a try. Just out of the blue, the second light will come on and you'll hear everything grinding. You'll be back in business. just to show you if you stay persistent either that or it'll go on for an hour and a half and I'll end up playing Rick Rollin music at the end <laughs> have faith use the force <laughs> Some people say having it down at like 30 degrees and then trying to start it makes a difference but or opening it right up maybe in case it's a loose wire inside that's causing your issue but yeah this isn't any loose wires I've been through this popped off every clip made sure none of the clips were broken everything was fine everything soldered on no wires are broken there's no obviously shorts or black marks I've changed the BIOS battery.
Don't even want to put it in fast forward so you don't think I've skipped past something I've done that you've maybe not done or not seen. But yeah, this is basically it. If I was you, I wouldn't even watch the rest of the video. <laughs> you know what to do now, is just basically sit and press and that. It'll boot up, it'll probably shut down again. Quickly try and start it up, it should start up straight away again after that. And after about three or four attempts of it shutting down, you will be... There you go, look at that. Ah, it's just shut down. Right, so we we'll quickly get it back on. Second lights came on again. There you go, just shut down again. Back on, second light again. Shut down again. Now this is it coming on, it's like it's been priming and charging up. And it's shut down again. Only that time I had to turn it completely off. So we're looking, there we go, and there it's booting up. What are we on? 16 minutes odd. So there's to show you that if you stay persistent, it will come on. Now this is probably going to shut down again before we actually get to the desktop screen. And then it will probably shut down again the next time I load it up. But yeah, it's just showing you that if you stay persistent, if you've got that problem, you've maybe tried pressing it a hundred times, or maybe a hundred and fifteen was what you needed to press it. I would advise anyone with any laptop that's struggling to even come on to give this a try. I personally feel like something inside's been drained and it needs a build up of power or static or whatever to get it going. But yeah, it came on. 17 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that folks, it usually does start within like 7 minutes of repeatedly hitting it. I just go to start windows normally, it'll shut down at some point here. I've done this about 100 times now. This is just how I start my laptop. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope this helps somebody. Like, I mean, the, the only thing I could think of doing was holding the power button on a bit. Millions of people have tried doing it to their dodgy laptops. But this usually shuts down by now, but it's stayed on. Yeah, it's a Dell Latitude D620. I think it's running 2 gig of RAM. 160 gig hard drive, I think. Uh, Windows 7. I start, I started having issues. I stopped using it because I started using handheld devices. So it got kind of left behind. And obviously, every time I turned it on, it was just acting a bit strange. I'd done the updates. And recently it's came up, it's even saying like Windows 7 build 7601, this copy of Windows is not genuine. It says that now and it even comes up in a minute, it'll come up a couple of boxes tell me it's not genuine. So there's some shady business going on at Microsoft. But yeah, it just shows it's logging up just now. Usually well shuts down before now. But yeah, once you actually get it to the stage it's at the desktop, obviously you'd be able to shove in flash drives and start ripping things out of there that you really need. That was the big concern of it getting fixed and you were willing to pay however much just to have somebody try and get the information out of it. We're all guilty of using our laptops as a photographic library, a little photograph bank. And then something goes wrong and you've got about eight years worth of photographs all stored on a computer that you can't get back. Well guys, this is loaded up. It's pretty much there. I just think you should give this a try. I'm not sure what I'll title the video yet. I will put the type of laptop in the title, but... You definitely want to check this out because I know I've been quoted at least £400 for somebody just to open up and look inside it. I've done that about a thousand times and not made a penny yet. Damn sure I'm not paying somebody else to do that. 
half the screwdriver cowboys anyway take stuff out your computer give you the bad stuff and a couple of months later you've got even bigger problems I'm not saying they're all like that, not at all. No, a few nice computer repair men. In fact, kids as grand as one. <laughs> but yeah, this one seems to have major issues. But yeah, this is this thing here. Windows is not genuine. Not true. Pure fiction. But I'm Done. This laptop has given up the ghost. So I'm going to look for a big upgrade. But yeah, there you go guys. It's totally uploaded. Better and quicker than I thought it would once it got there. But yeah, there you go. That is how you could possibly kickstart your laptop with power issues. And could, uh, I'll just show you right now in fact. I'll Get the power supply. I'll plug in the power supply, plug it into the laptop, and show you. <coughs> oh dear. Right, guys, are ready? This will be the end of the video, especially if everything goes bang. Now you see the power lights, you see all the files on the screen. Three, two, one. I just pushed the power supply in and it's just cut off. See? Push this power supply in where it was meant to be an instant shutdown. So. There you go guys. If you want to get your Dell Latitude D620 or other laptop with power issues, that's something you could give a try. If it works for you, please do leave a comment, let me know. If it just makes one person happy and gets the information back, I'll be really chuffed. Thanks a lot guys and hope it helps. See you later.